recovery toolbox to help you stay sane in a crazy world. Hi there, my name is Lauren Hope. Many years ago, I was diagnosed with a serious mental health issue, borderline personality disorder. I went into a therapeutic community for nearly two years and I found inner peace. And I learned a lot of tools of how to stay sane in this crazy world. I was out of there for six years and last year I went through the worst year of my life. I was in a wheelchair for four months. I lost my father and my family disinherited me, but I still stayed sane with this head with no medication. Now I'm not saying that you can't have medication, that's your choice. And I'm also saying that this program, this course that I'm devising is for everyone. You don't have to have a mental illness to be able to learn the tools that I'm going to give you, the tools that help you to deal with the chaotic life out there. So. How to stay sane in a crazy world? Welcome to my recovery toolbox. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> now, why was I singing? You can ring my bell. What's the bell got to do with anything? A bell. Okay, well, in the therapeutic community, we all came in there, children, adults that, who were children that were not validated. I was always told to be what my parents wanted me to be. I wasn't allowed to be myself. So you pick up the bell and go, ding ling help! I need to say how I feel. And you got that validation. Now I'm not saying you have to get a bell. You can get a bell if you want to, it's up to you. But metaphorically, symbolically, you need a little bell to say help, okay? To your friends, your co-workers, your family. If they care about you, you can say to them, well, you know what? Today, please validate me. I'm not having a good day today. I feel really tired and I need you to be there for me a little bit more. That is so important to have that. Number two, structure. Structure, structure, structure. If you have a head like mine, you need to have some structure. But you also have to have an ite two itineraries with your structure. You have your structure for the day and then you have another itinerary just in case because we can't have certainty in this crazy world. You have to work with this world and be flexible and go with it. I've been playing accordion since I was six years old. And this is how I express my creativity, through playing the accordion, which is one of them. How do you express your creativity? Are you a musician, an artist? You have God-given talents, the same as everyone else. Use them. It is so important for us to stay sane in this crazy world. You need to, if you can't do it professionally, you need to have a hobby that you enjoy. Acting, singing. Singing is brilliant for breathing. As you sing, use your lungs. You know, it's really good. It really opens everything up. Makes you feel alive. Right, your uniqueness is so important and everything that I'm telling you today is about your uniqueness, your creativity, your nutrition, your own uniqueness. <laughs>